bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Mental illness affects one in five families here in the United States, and my next guest is ready to help. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Jamie Lindrohan, and you are watching Comcast Newsmakers. This hour's newsmaker is Paul Kiesling, Executive Director of Project Transition, and today we're talking about mental health issues. Thank you for joining us. Glad to be here, Jamie. Talk to our viewers at home about Project Transition. What is it about? Simply put, Project Transition is a solution for persons who have serious mental illness, mm -hmm. persons who have been through a lot of treatment experience, hospitals, therapists, medications, but are looking for a solution that will help them live in the community, the life they want to live, mm -hmm. where they want to live, and who they want to do that with. I see. And what area do you serve? We serve persons, again, in recovery from serious mental illness. Uh, we serve in uh, the greater Philadelphia area in four counties. We have six programs and each is a community of about 20 to 25 members. Okay, I see. And what do our Comcast Newsmaker viewers at home need to know about Project Transition? Okay. We're not for everyone, but we're for persons who I've described as having a serious mental illness who are going to benefit from a year or more experience working with us, not only to address psychiatric symptoms, but really also to move on to the business of doing a better life. Uh, one person put it this way, a home, a job, and a date on the weekends. Right. And living, living a rich life while pursuing your recovery. And what type of recovery do you provide? What type of therapy sessions do you provide? We, it's a full spectrum of individual psychotherapy, a very uh, serious approach to psychopharmacology. Those coupled with a therapeutic support community, relationships, mm -hmm. because they're the context and the premise that we work from. And all that done in a very open apartment-based community setting. And that's where we get to practice the work of recovery, vocational, educational, social issues. And as I said in my opening, nearly one in five families are affected by mental right. illness here in the United States. That number is staggering. It's very staggering. Uh, it affects all of us. And for many persons, that's been a secret kept in a family, making it hard to access help. We're part of the recovery movement that expresses the very good news that persons can recover. Mm -hmm. 70, 90 percent do recover if they get enough help and the right medication and enough of a supportive community. How does one recognize if a loved one or a friend is suffering from mental illness? It's all about relationship, getting into someone's life, knowing them, knowing the changes in their routines, the change in their mood or thoughts. Listening becomes the important bridge to knowing someone's experience and then sharing in their life. That's mm -hmm. how we begin to see what's happening in someone's journey. And once you do recognize that someone that you love or know is suffering from mental illness, what do you do next? How well, you, do you help them? You reach into their life. The, the, the mistake we often make is we hang back. We're afraid to say the wrong thing. And, and really, relationship is moving towards a person. That invites them to join you as you seek help together. It's not just getting them help, but it's often joining together to get that help. And let's talk about that, too, because do you, do you not only just serve the person who's suffering from mental illness, or do you also provide services and programs for their families and loved great, ones? Great question, because the journey of recovery happens for everyone. We're really proud to partner with NAMI, the National Alliance for the Mentally Ill, right. the Pennsylvania Mental Health Consumers Association. Those are two agencies that reach out to the entire family. Uh, so we do a lot of teaching, education, mm -hmm. and training of families on how that they can support their loved one in recovery. And talk to us about the stigma that surrounds mm -hmm. mental illness. Talk to us about those challenges you face, face when trying to educate sure. the public. Yeah, uh, we, we get it in the news, we get it in just our own self-perceptions, and uh, we're about the business of spreading the good news that persons can and do recover. Mm -hmm. And the best voice of that is a person in recovery. So a lot of our work is joining with our members, as we call them, and, and spreading that news through every everything from a, a march together to educational workshops to programs like this, anything we can do to share that good news. We have just a short time left. Your yeah. final thoughts for our Comcast Newsmaker viewers at home. Sure. Well, Project Transition, uh, we're not for everybody. We are for persons in that journey of serious, uh, journey from serious mental illness. But for those persons, we think belonging, belonging to a sustained community over time is a great way to heal. Excellent. Well, thank good. you for joining us here on Comcast Delighted Newsmakers. Delighted to be and here. Good luck to you. Thank you. This hour's newsmaker has been Paul Kiesling, director of Project Transition. I'm Jamie Lynn Rohan for Comcast Newsmakers, seen exclusively here on Comcast Cable. For more news and information, join us online at cn8.tv or check us out every 24 and 54 past the hour, only here on CNN Headline News.